This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to another one of Indiana's many species of native oaks, and that is pin oak. Pin oak is typically found on moist to wet sites, oftentimes soils that have uh, a relatively medium to high acidity. Uh, so this is the common habitat for this species is bottomlands and imperfectly drained soils, although it has been planted in many other sites for landscape purposes. Pin oak, as in all our oaks, has alternate leaf arrangement, simple leaves, and this is a member of the broad red and black oak group, meaning that it has bristle tips on the ends of the lobes, so a little pointed hairs on the very tips of the lobes, and also the acorns mature over two growing seasons. And you can see the acorns here on pin oak, a really rounded acorn that also has a relatively flat top with very smooth scales. And these can be produced in abundance and have some value for wildlife food in many locations. The leaves on pin oak also have a very typical, almost 90 degree angle to the lobes, particularly at the bottom, which almost looks straight across. And in many cases, there are not as many lobes on the lobes uh, on the leaves of pin oak as compared to some of the other red oak group. Pin oak is well known for having branches, particularly on the lower part of the tree, that angle downward. And this is actually one of the reasons it's popular for ornamental uses is the general form and shape of the tree. And that's also one of the ways it got its name is that pin oak has a tendency to retain lower branches and produce what we would call pin knots or small knots in the wood. But a very attractive shape, an important source of wildlife food on wetland sites, and one of our native bottom of oak species, so suitable for reforestation in wet sites and areas with acidic soil. Pin oak, one of our many species of native Indiana oaks.